What is up guys, I'm Peter Cole and welcome back to our Modded Oblivion playthrough. So today we're going to head to Wayne and Priory where we have to go to talk to Joffrey about the Amulet of Kings. We're also going to go there so we can store some of our items, get some better items, have kind of a base to go with. Then we'll come back here, take some items from these people, go through the Imperial City and continue on with the story. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, so, Wayne and Priory is actually in the opposite direction, it's this way. And I want to tell you guys really quick, so I am playing with mods, and something you may not know about Oblivion that is different than Skyrim, is that this game didn't run super well back in the day. There was stutter and lag and stuff. Am I being attacked? I swore I just heard fighting music. And, um, I've got the stutter remover mod, I've got a couple other things, but you'll see there's a, a little bit of a weird frame rate. And that's just going to be like that as we go through. It won't be too bad. Some places might be slightly more jarring. And when I first start the games to start recording, it's always a little bit more jarring and then it gets better. So we'll just see as time goes on how it is. But for now, we're going to head to uh, Wayne and Priory. It's going to get dark way long before we get there, though. So, oh, nice. That was an awesome shot. Mr. Mud Crab down there. And he didn't fall down, or she, rather, did not fall down the hill. Sweet. Yes, I will take the venison. That was a great shot. Alright, so we're probably going to swim over here. We'll discover this little, uh... Ooh. What? Is it the mud crab? It is Mr. Mud Crab! Uh, yeah. You can't get up the hill. It's too steep for you. Mr. Mud Crab. Ah, uh, we'll go down and loot him. Might as well. Um... But yeah, so it's not clams. Yes, I will get the flawed pearl. It might not run like the best you've ever seen, but I'm hoping it won't run too bad either. And we'll see how beautiful it gets. The nighttime with these mods gets super dark too. Yeah, we're really full right now. I don't want to try to go selling anything just yet. Oh, oop, 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 oop. I don't want to try to go selling everything yet. I'd rather store some stuff for now. Um, Wayne and Priory does have some nicer stuff for you. So I'll be able to get some of that too, which will be good. One of the things that's funny about this game is like literally everything you do, you're gaining skills for. Like how I just got an athletic skill increase. Probably shouldn't pick much up that's out here. Cheap wine. It's worth less than the ale. Why would I pick that up? A beer. A bowl. Yeah, no, nothing really well. Yeah, like a lot of people and what you'll probably see me doing at some point in this is I'll just be jumping basically everywhere I go to get my acrobatic skill up because that does increase your acrobatics, just jumping around. And when you have a maxed out acrobatics, you jump so high. You already jump way higher than you do in Skyrim just to be out like, look how high I'm jumping. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. 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 Destruction skill increased. I want to be like a... I don't like a thief mage kind of. It's kind of what I'm going for at this point. Really, I can't. I really can't loot anything else, so I need to avoid stuff. So like here, it looks like there's. Oh crap! Oh, a human. That's no good. Uh, yeah. Uh, stuff that's. I mean, it's worth a little bit here. Let's take it. Let's go look in our inventory and see if there's anything we can get rid of. No, we want all that. I'm wearing rough leather. Is this better than what I'm wearing? It's got two. My Curious has got two. This is three. This is all light armor. So no, it's definitely not better. Uh, it doesn't actually look like we have much to take out. One and five. I don't think these things are worth more than one and five, are they? No, they're actually not. So, well, I lied. We'll just deposit them back. Looks like just an iron war axe. Yep. Alright. We will not take those things in, but I do want to get whatever this cave is unlocked on my map. There we go. Found Sinkhole Cave. Just like in Skyrim, you want to uh, find everything you can on your way through stuff. It's going to be nighttime here soon. As you can kind of tell already by how this looks, it's much more of a green... Uh, pastures, plains, kind of beautiful experience. Oh, this guy have armor. Ooh, this guy looks kind of scary. Why is he running back and forth? What is he doing? 
What is he doing? Okay. Alright, I'll just, uh, sneak away now, and we won't have to worry about that guy. I don't really have any mods that change the gameplay, or like, you saw the UI, if you know Oblivion, that is the regular UI, and the reason for that is because I like to play as close to vanilla as possible, just with beautiful graphics. Like this, right, this scene right here, you, the sun on the screen and everything, this is, oh crap. Where? Where? I was going to try to talk about the game's beauty, but now I'm scared I'm going to be attacked from somewhere. Ooh. Oh, there he comes. Can totally dodge arrows, too, which is fun. Oh, crap, but I didn't dodge that one. We'll see about that, sir. All right, let's get out my arrows. Are you going to run off again? What's he shooting at? Oh, a wolf. Go ahead, dude. Kill the wolf. Or let me kill you. Such a sad little dog noise when it when the wolf gets killed. I'm not going to have enough to pick up this wolf pelt, am I? Yes, I am. But I don't think I'll have enough to pick up any of his stuff. Ooh, but he does have an iron bow, which we want. Because we have a rusty iron bow at the moment. So let's go give him our rusty iron bow. We'll equip his iron bow, which will be nice. Some stuff I wish I could loot, but I can't, unfortunately. Wait, I'm still over encumbered? How is that even possible? Did did that bow weigh more? Oh, maybe it did. Dang it. Well, I mean, I need it. I'm also going to hotkey it. What do I weigh? 150? Crap. Do I have something that's, like, not worth anything? I guess I can drop an ale. Oh, tch. I meant to drop, but instead I drank. Well, that's unfortunate. So for a little bit, my skills are going to be going down, but I guess that's just something we have to deal with. As I was saying, though, this is way more beautiful than anything you would ever see in Oblivion proper. Vanilla. Way more beautiful. Oh, I knew it. As soon as I picked it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't pick this. Um, all right, we're going to actually drop an ale this time, though. Not drink one. Okay. So I forget what this stone is. What does this do? Hestra rune stone. Oh, nope. Don't shoot it. The stone stirs under your hand. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor? Sure, I forgot about those. Stones sleep. Stones rest this day. Cool. I think I look like a Daedra. You can't really tell, but... Yeah, I have, like, the special Daedra gauntlets. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but I see my hands. It's pretty sweet, actually. I'm actually kind of scared for it to get dark, because it's going to get real dark. Got kind of a journey left. I thought I saw an enemy. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I got kind of a journey left, though, I think. Um, Where are we at? Yeah, we're right here. Wayne and Priory's up there. So we're about... We were right here. Little under halfway. Once we cross this and are heading up directly up there, we'll be a little bit more close to perfectly halfway, but... That might have been a way to go. Or the sun on the water. It's beautiful. Completely and utterly beautiful. You can also get really hurt jumping in this game, so I always forget I gotta be careful about that. Can I can I heal myself in the water? Yes, I can. That's pretty funny. How long is this armor gonna be on me? A really long time? Oh man, it's gonna get kinda scary when it gets dark. Cause it gets dark. When I have a torch, I guess I could Oh, crap. Who? Where? Oh, it's just a wolf. Yeah, yeah! Wow, this is not doing much damage to this thing at all. Oh, yeah. Crap, I can't take that wolf pelt. That sucks. Actually, yes, I can. I can totally take that wolf pelt. I'm gonna get rid of... I'm just gonna drop some of the stupid ale, because... I definitely don't think I need it. We'll, we'll drop, like... Four for now. I have five room I can take, so I don't have to worry. Because one in ten is probably one of the best rates for uh, items I have at this point. Oh yeah, I was going to check. Should I? Let's see. Where's Torch at? 
Oh, I'm not in awe. Torch would be in miscellaneous if it wasn't something. Yeah, can we equip this? Yeah. Might be kind of a... Uh, not very sneaky to have a torch out, but... Something that'll benefit us when it gets real dark. Of course, we're going to have to fight enemies either way, so... Really, the goal is now to not fight as many people as possible. Just get to Wayne and Priory. If we can get there. Oh, yeah, let's discover this. Oh, that's not a thing to discover. That's, this is another path, isn't it? Oop, nope, not what I wanted to do. Go back. Go back to the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to be due left to get onto the road. <laughs> due left. Should have said due south or something, not due left. Athletics, yeah. No, that's still me just running. That's not my acrobatics skill. There's my acrobatics. That's what I wanted to see. I guess if I go kind of southwest, I'll eventually meet a road. That's a fortress discover. Aha, here's the road. We'll go ahead and skip that fortress for now. We'll be able to come back and look for it later. However, we're already headed up this way. We might as well grab whatever this cave is, since it's in the general direction that we're going. You know, that uh, Skyrim Elder Scrolls Fallout logic. Grab as much as you can on the way. Although with a giant torch, someone's bound to be able to see me. The thing about torches in this game is they're so bright, it's almost like annoying to have out. It takes up like a large portion of the screen. I guess we can look and see how it looks without a torch. Oh yeah, but like, see, it's so dark without a torch. I can kind of see in that direction, but I can't really see in front of me at all. With a torch, at least I can kind of see. Crap. Oh, there's another wolf. We're fine. More restoration skill and blade skill for me. Nice. And we can take the wolf pelt. Heal ourselves quick. In case we're going to get in another battle at some point. Do do do. Almost at the cave. Oh, crap. Uh oh. However, that is a goblin? Oh no, a scamp. This could be rough. I might have to run, I'm gonna run. Yeah, no way. Wayne and Priory, which direction are you in? Get away from the scamp. That thing is too dangerous for me. Jump and heal, jump and heal, jump and heal. Jump and heal. That's all I can do, guys. I can't even see where I'm going or what's happening. Really haven't escaped yet? I don't know what else I can do. Where I can go. This is a stone wall. Yes, this is a giant building. Okay, found, we found it. Now let's run around the fort. Still no? Is he still chasing me? Oh jeez, that scared the crap out of me. He's still chasing me. Really? This scamp is persistent. Those are deer, okay. Man, it is dark outside. Beautiful. Totally realistic. Terrifying. How is this thing still chasing me? How is the script not told it to turn back around or something? I wonder if I go and run inside Wayne and Priory if I'll be fine. Like if it'll just be like, oh yeah, it's gone now. Because I'm like literally almost there. I'm super close. Now, the funny thing is about this, I could have fast traveled there, but I'd like to uh, discover as much as I can along the way. But I totally could have just fast traveled to Wayne and Priory. Don't get mad at me, guys. It's part of the journey, okay? Some people really like exploring everywhere and others don't. Personally, I'm a huge fan of exploring and 
not fast traveling if you can help it. But in some games, especially like if we're doing tons of Skyrim quests and stuff, if you never fast travel, it just uh, takes forever. Man, I came up to Wayne and Priory in a, in a weird direction. We are finally, uh, don't have to worry about, I put my weapon away and I still pulled out a torch. Because because I have a torch equipped still, but here we are, Wayne and Priory. Wayne and Priory discovered. I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. So I'm going to do a quick take off the torch. And I'm going to wait. What time is it? 11 p.m. We'll wait seven hours-ish? Something like that? Till it's daytime. I want him to be up when we go to talk to him. I don't want to wake him up in his bed. Did that take me to 3 a.m.? What is it now? What? Who the flip are you? What the heck are you? Who is this? A conjurer? That's so random. What were you doing out here in the middle of the night? I want his stuff. Minor respite tome. Cool. Is that a po or is that a spell? Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game, so I don't remember everything. Let's get our thing all the way up. Jeez, I didn't realize I was going to be attacked. I should go in the church or something before I uh, end up getting killed out here. I was wondering why it stopped me at 3 a.m. I was like, uh, I definitely put it for longer than 3 a.m. All right, the sun should be up now at 8, 18 a.m. Yep, there's that guy walking around. Nice. Where's the sun in the sky? Oh, over there. Right where we can't see it. That's Bridget. not going to be Joffrey either. Okay. Into the waning house we go. We'll make a um, separate save before we talk to Mr. Joffrey here. Separate little save, just to make sure. Bam! Brother Joffrey! I've got a message. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? I brought you the Amulet of Kings. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. No. <laughs> Give Joffrey the amulet, or say no. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. I know. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Um, tell him the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the <laughs> Amulet of Kings. You're right. Uh, who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. Unfortunately. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Not for long. How can Oblivion threaten us then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It doesn't have to be that way. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blade. Because you're a boss. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. We'll find out. Where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. Kvach. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. 
um, assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Why, thank you. So here. Oh, crap. Crap. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Unlock it. I forgot. There we go. Now we got a Joffrey chest. This is nice because we now get steel arrows, a steel bow, nice leather clothes, potions, and a shock spell. We can also take these things and sell them. But for now, I'm going to store the other stuff in here that I don't need for the moment. I hate that arrows weigh things. It sucks. Sell that, or store that, I mean. We got leather boots, we got a leather cuirass, and we got leather legs. We didn't get gauntlets or a helmet from him, though. So, we'll keep those things on us. We'll deposit the ales. Um, I don't need all of these potions, and I definitely don't need all this food, either. The food and... Um, Stuff like that is generally meant for alchemy and crafting and stuff. I don't think we need those, but they don't really weigh anything. We can deposit that. We'll definitely deposit these. Keep the repair hammer. Keep the torches. Deposit the wolf pelts. Um, now let's get rid of some of these. Oh, no. We want potions of healing. What is this? Restore fatigue, restore magicka. Do we have strong potions? Night eye might be useful. Sorcery, restore magicka. No, no. I guess we can go with that. It sucks that we're almost half full already, but I guess we can deposit some of these arrows. Like, what do we do? Like 64 ish? That'll help us a bit. Now we can equip ourselves. I'm a strapping young fella, huh? Strapping. All right, we will, this will become our number one. What? Yeah, we'll have to equip, we'll do, we'll, we'll save the steel arrows for a stronger enemy. There we go, we're all good and equipped here. We don't really need the mortar and pestle for now too, I forgot about that. Let's uh, store that in here too. Bam. We're not going to have to worry about that either. I think we're pretty much good at this point. Everything is still considered stealing right now because I'm not on a good terms with them. All right. So, is this this is like the caretaker, right? What? Yes. Edenol. So funny, the names in this are so much more like fantasy-like too. Where Skyrim, everything's Nordic. Everything in this is all... Uh, much more fantasy feeling, which I like a lot. It's just, it's a very different vibe. You can just tell by just looking at it how different the vibe is, you know? All right, so what we're gonna do is, instead of going to that first quest, we are going to go to Frost Crag Spire, which is one of the DLCs. It's my favorite home in the game out of all the DLCs. I just think it's awesome, Frost Crag Spire. So that's actually what we're going to go ahead and go towards. We have to travel to the Wild Eye Stables up here. I was just gonna make basically like a straight line. Don't worry about the roads, just go straight to Frost Crag Spire. It's gonna be rough, I think. We'll encounter some bad enemies and stuff, but uh, we'll make it there. It's up on top of this mountain, or actually it might be the next mountain past that. So before we do anything, let's do a save here quick. No, whoa, guys, almost quit out on us. That would've been very unfortunate. And I, when I first fast travel too, I get a bit more, um, uh, what is the word? Um, frame rate. I don't know why that just blanked my mind. I get a bit more frame rate issues when I first fast travel too. So let's look. We got. I think maybe going like left up a bit and going like that might be the best way about to go about this. Like going up that way just to make sure that we can get over the hill. It's going to be ugly if I can't get to where I need to go. Yeah, we'll do that. Since we're in a higher up area too, I might find some more rough enemies here, which is kind of scary. But we'll skip that mine for now. We'll have plenty of time to explore around here later on. And we will, trust me. We'll be doing a lot in this area eventually, but for right now, 
I just want to get to a house. Being able to store all my own stuff, be able to have like a base to come back to. Plus, when you guys see it, I think you'll understand why I'm so enamored by it because. Uh oh. Oh. Whenever I hear the music stop, I'm like, well, that's it, I'm dead. Yeah, acrobatic skills. A good way to gain acrobatic skills is what I'm doing right now, which is just jumping up a mountain. Crap, did I screw myself? I did, I'm going to the farther part of the mountain at this point. I need to be uh, going up in the other, the other way, the, the less steep way over here. Yes. Crap, this is all steep though. But it's like up here that I need to get to. Ooh, that was close. I thought I was going to die. Let's see. This looks like it'll be a little less steep over here. Try to make our way. Dang, I'm making bad progress. Is this not steep enough for me to go up? Let's hope so. Nope, here we might get a struggle. Here we might get a struggle. Yes. Oh, nope, maybe not. Maybe we can still get this. Maybe this will work. No? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're making our way, we're making our way. We'll see if we can get all the way up here. I don't know if we can, we'll try. Oh, looks, oh, looks like we're doing good now. Oh man. Keep it going, keep it going, don't fall back down. Yes, this is what I like to see. They've got something coming up here. I'm not sure what it's gonna be. We're gonna discover something. No mountain. Which is not good because I think those are enemies. I think the knoll is an enemy in this game. We'll find out. Yep, there's my house on the horizon. No. Don't see any enemies at this point. Let's hope it stays that way, right? Alright. Ooh. That goes down quite a bit. Uh, no, none of those things are worth anything. Just like that pewter's not worth anything, because you get a lot of it in this game. You come across a lot of it. I think it's like, I'm pretty sure ceramic stuff is the same. But basically the other version of this stuff in Skyrim. I definitely feel like there's supposed to be an enemy here, though. We're pretty close now. Oh, there it is. Oh man, Frost Crag Spire. Just look at it. How can you not think that thing is cool? With like the spinning top and everything. It's beautiful. Oh man. I just look at it and get so excited. I'm like, that's my home, guys. That right there is my home. I've arrived at Frostcrag Spire. I should make my way inside this curious but extraordinary tower. Oh, I will. Door open with Frostcrag Spire key. Now, I believe we have to go buy stuff. We've got to buy, like, furnishing and stuff. I've discovered a dusty tome within Frostcrag Spire. I should read it to learn more about the unusual structure. Pretty sure we're going to have to go buy stuff. After reading the Dusty Tome, I've learned that I can purchase everything I need to restore this place to its former glory from Arulan Way at the Mystic Emporium in the Market District of the Imperial City. As I pen this, I gaze upon the walls of my home and remember the very day its design came to fruition. Although it seems like yesterday, it was actually many years ago. I was an impetus wizard. I wasn't simply satisfied living at the Arcane University. I spent years coming up with a design for my home, a place where I could practice my magic in peace and keep myself away from the prying eyes of my colleagues. I poured over tomes and dusty scrolls, scoured the bookshops of the land, and even delved into ancient ruins looking for inspiration. Finally, as I rested my weary body at a camp outside of Bruma and marveled in awe at the majesty of the Feral Mountains? Yeah, I think Feral Mountains. For all? I don't know. I became inspired. Like a madman, I began to sketch exactly what I wanted my grand dwelling to look like. It wasn't long before I had completed my masterpiece, put down my quill, and took a step back to see what I had wrought. Frostcrag Spire was born. And now, as age overwhelms me and the glow is dying from my eyes, I wish to give the spire to you. The thought that my dream could one day crumble to ruin fills me with sadness. I know that you'll take care of our new home, of your new home, and if need be, restore it to its former glory. 
please, heed my instructions carefully. There's much to tell, and the strength drains from my limbs. Frostcrag Spire contains many wonderful inventions. I've spent my whole life perfecting them, and I hope you'll put them to good use. My pride and joy is the Atronach Altar. By bringing three salts from the very same creatures to this altar, you can summon an Atronach familiar to do your bidding. It will obey your simple commands and defend you in times of need. Should you tire of it, simply speak to it and dismiss it. These fine creatures have protected me in my travels and should be of great use to you. With permission from the Arcane University, I've had a spellmaking and enchanting altar placed in the tower as well. You have but to provide the Megatalo candles and power them and they will serve you well. Working closely with my good friend Zinderin. Linderin? I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell what these letters are sometimes, guys. I'm sorry! The Master Alchemist of Skingrad, I have developed the Frostcrag Apparatus Table. So is that S? Cinderin must be his name, because that S looks like the same thing in Skingrad. Um, this table is for the discerning alchemist, and should help even the most difficult brews become easier to create. I've also reseeded my alchemy observatory with the best ingredients Cyr Cyrodiil has to offer, and some from beyond her borders. Finally, I've created portals to all of the mages' guilds in Cyrodiil. This should make easier to travel to them in times of need. I've entrusted most of my belongings to Arlen Way at the Missing Emporium in the Market District of the Imperial City. There you'll find everything you need to bring Frostcrag Spire back from the dead. She may require compensation for her time and care watching these special items, but I assure you, it's well worth the coin. Please, take care of Frostcrag Spire. She was my home, and much of myself is infused with the stone and mortar. May your journeys be safe, and the roads you travel free of danger. So we'll take that. Now that we know we have to go farther, because I was about to say, I don't think we can literally do anything until we, uh... Oh, we can. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, what the heck? Oh, it's so cool. I love this place. Alright, so first and foremost, we have these things that we can stand on to teleport to. So we've got... The uh, Altar of Spellmaking, Atronach Altar, and the Altar of Enchanting, which will be for our weapons. Freaking how cool that looks, right? It's so awesome. This looks really trippy, too. We've got living to the portal to the living area, which is where you'll have a bed and stuff like that. You also have, this is his area of having all the rare items. And the cool thing is, if you come here and pick everything occasionally and just go store it, all of it regrows, just like in Skyrim and other games. Like, of course it's going to regrow. So you don't just pick it once and it's over. So the thing you'll want to do is come up here as much as possible. Pick it whenever you come in, if it can be picked. I recommend picking it all at once for that exact reason. Because then you can come back and you won't have to be like, oh, I can just pick one section or whatever. You'll be able to pick all of it. And like how I said, there's so many more things to pick. Sometimes I have to do that. Just to be able to find, like, what is it telling me I can still pick because I can't figure it out. See, I don't know what, what it's still showing me I can pick at. And there's some, like, how it said beyond her borders. You have stuff from Oblivion right here. Deme blood grass. What was the domesticated thing? Domesticated spittle stick. Yeah, those are these are Oblivion items here. So you have Oblivion plants. That's why it's so crazy red and stuff. Because you have all of their things. And then up here, you've got some uh, almost like cave-like ones and stuff. Mushrooms, fungi, all kinds of stuff. All like the more valuable ones. There's still some that aren't here, of course. But I mean, you've got a lot of different ones that you can have. You could probably get almost over encumbered just going through this whole thing. Nern root. See, I've recovered a sprig of Nern root. A plant ingredient this unusual must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little more about it. An alchemist can be found in almost every city in Cyrodiil. That's a quest, and you have one right here. I mean, it won't go back super quick, so it would take forever to just do the quest that way, but... Okay, so that leads back to the main level. This leads to the mountains. They are the Gerald Mountains. So let's head out here first and look outside. These are to every one of the mages guilds. How you travel there. First of all, I think that's Bruma right there. Beautiful, beautiful view. I mean, I know the game's old, but I mean, how cool is that? That you can actually see the Imperial City in the distance. It's so awesome. I think you can see another city. Yeah, you can see one right there too. I think that's Braville? No, that's Shadenhall. Can maybe see something else too, depending. 
yeah, but we've got all of our uh, Mage's Guild teleportations here. Let's go see if we can look at more over here. No, I'm not going to risk falling off the edge either, so we won't do that. Let's go see where this takes us then. Oh, this takes us to the top. So now we could look out. I guess it's too hard. You can kind of see something right there in the distance. Not enough to really look. I mean, for a game this old, just seeing this that far in the distance is pretty impressive. Especially like that, with the uh, level of detail the city has and stuff. I mean, obviously it doesn't look great, but still very impressive. Alright, so later on we'll have more of a living area here, but for now this is kind of what we're stuck with. We also have a very uh, measly little vault down here. Only right now though, eventually this becomes a huge sprawling thing. It's all icy and like there's nothing to store down here, there's no storage or anything. So what we're going to go do is we're going to go check um, with the lady in whatever that place is. The Market District, I think. The Mystic Emporium. And we're going to see what she can sell us stuff for because I'm pretty sure it's really expensive. We don't have nearly enough money, so it might take us a little bit until we can use that as a home. I like to have it to teleport to and stuff, though, because... Eventually, when I have the money, I am going to... Why was I aiming down like that? That was weird. Crap. I'm going to have to wait. Almost. We'll do 10 hours. Might not be enough. We may have to wait an extra hour for everybody to walk to their store in the morning. But yeah, it's nice to have something to teleport to. And eventually, when we do have the money, that's the first thing I'm going to spend money on is my home. Oh, never mind. It'll be 931. We should have more than enough. They should have more than enough time to get there. Yes, it does look like she is... Or he. I think it's a she, though. Is in their area. Oh, I was like, uh-oh. Locked still? Is that why this person's standing outside? I lied. Maybe they haven't had enough time. It should be here by now. Oh, that's weird. Is this one open? Maybe we have to, like, walk out and... Or walk in here and walk back out to the other one. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Why are you standing in the way? Who are Artist you? Artist Vannon. Retired. Sleep late and read trashy books. I don't keep up with the Major's Guild affairs anymore. That's great. Rumors. There's a new ship moored up in the waterfront district. The Marie Elena. It's a galleon, I think. Oh. Imperial City. I spent 40 years at the Arcane University. Good years, but I don't miss it. Now I'm completely useless and proud of <laughs> All right, sir. That was a great talk. Good day. But I'm getting kind of upset that she's not letting me in. I don't know what I need to do to be able to get in here. I might have to uh, go stand inside of a store and wait. Why? Why are you still there? Of course, the one store that I need to get into is the one that I'm having trouble getting into. We don't want to wait too long. No, can I? Those are my only options? One hour and seven hour? Jeez. What is this guy like? Why is this guy standing in my store for this long? Oh, it's like, uh-oh, I can't move. Herbal Grow Oracle knows you need axes and blunt weapons. Big ones. So he makes them and sells them here. Good to know. Slash and smash. The big orc weapon shop. <laughs> big weapons for big heroes. <laughs> so dorky. Rumors. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. I guess we'll eventually find that out, won't we? Gray Fox. Blasted thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. He's a slippery one, though. The beggars are his eyes and ears. All right. Oh, that's all we need to know about that. I'm through talking to you. I can't wait to do the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild quest line. Both of them are awesome in this game. Are you seriously? I gotta go out. I gotta. Is this Arlen way? I bet it is. How no, it's not. Do? 
I've got to walk out yeah, of this uh, section. Wait. Walk back into that section. I'm like, dude, come on now. It's 2 p.m. Like, I know we're not going to have this much trouble, are we? We're going to be able to figure this out together. Please tell me that guy is not still standing there. Oh, dude. You're really like... Hello there. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Farewell. Well met. Uh, Stop right there, whoa. criminal scum. Nobody break. What did I do? Then, then pay with your blood. No, nope, I'm just gonna reload. I don't understand. I must have when I accidentally went to uh, lock pick that door. I think I must have or to exit out of lock picking that door. I must have accidentally hit a button which made me lock pick it. Well, that stinks. I guess we're not able to uh, do this yet. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, he's really annoying me. I think him being there is what's messing up the script. So let's head to really quick. I want to head to the waterfront. Because I believe it's in the waterfront where you first hear about Thieves Guild or you can learn about them. I think we'll find out. I want to uh, join up with the Thieves Guild as soon as possible. They, they're going to be my first choice for uh, missions to do. I thought there was like a sign that there was like a... Who will help an old in the Somerset Isle? It seems Somerset Isle has become... Pirates, no. I heard there's a prophet in Anvil who seems to know what's going on. Although, as usual, he speaks only in riddles, as prophets always seem to do. Interesting. You can call me Halad the Outlaw. Prophet. I don't know much about him either. Just that he appeared in Anvil shortly after the attack on the chapel there. Of course. If there's a complaint about a merchant, speak to... All right, no, I don't care about that. You got anything to say to me what? about the Thieves Guild? Rumors. Viator Asius has a good shield. So that was a great rumor. An intriguing fellow from. Man, that guy's got Goodbye. shields. Oh, oh, oh! Got some frame rate dropping here. Still going. That's the kind of stuff I say. Sometimes we're gonna have some bad frame rate dropping. Sometimes it'll be minimal. She must hate her job. People complaining to her all day. <laughs> Be seeing you. <laughs> she coughs at him. Be they seeing you. Well, don't expect a handout from me. You certainly don't need it. I do. I do. Anvil is all in an uproar. First, the chapel attacked. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Yeah, that prophet or the pilgrimage mission isn't one we're gonna do. Oh, it's free. What do you want? Uh, all right, dude. Jeez, prophet one's not the one Hello. we're gonna do yet. That'll be a bit later when we're more powerful. That I'll wanna venture out in that one. Don't sing to me. Stop it. Stop singing. Stop it. Stop it. Leave me alone. Stop singing. I hear you back there. I hear you singing. Yes. Hi there. Eraldil, Eraldil, Eraldilophilus. Who are you? Yes, Uzul Grogrulum. I'm courting Marina Arano, so stay away from her. I got matrimony on my mind. All right, dude. Didn't plan on it, but uh. I'm through talking to you. Okay. Get your black horse courier here. Why is everybody so rude? Oh, wait, Black Horse Courier. Have a copy of the Black Horse Courier. It's the only way to get the real news. Feature story on the Gray Fox. Cool. Gray Fox is what I want to know. All right, so let's look at this. To the book. 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 First off, just got to say I love this design. I love how it looks 3D. Like, if you look down here at these, the light shining makes it actually look 3D. And this actually looks like a 3D roll. It's a really cool effect. All right, the Black Horse Courier, Gray Fox, Man or Myth. 
Is a so-called Thieves Guild masterminding all the thefts in the Imperial City? Captain Hieronymus Lex of the Imperial Watch seems to think so. When asked about the Thieves Guild and its mythical leader, the Grey Fox, the captain was quite emphatic. This one man is responsible for all crime in the city. The energetic and tenacious Captain Lex has therefore devoted himself to apprehending this masked menace. When questioned on the subject, Adamus Philida, Legion Commander and Captain Lex's immediate superior had the following response. Ridiculous! The Grey Fox is just a fairy tale. There is no such thing as a thieves guild, and there never has been. Stories of an unstoppable thief called the Grey Fox have been circulating around the Imperial City for centuries. The stories claim he can turn himself invisible at will, shrink himself down to the size of a mouse, turn to mist and seep under locked doors, and perform any number of other truly unbelievable feats. If even half of these stories are true, Captain Lex will have his hands full capturing the Grey Fox. I wonder if we can find Mr. Lex. Wait, we'll look at our map quick and we can see. Got the Temple District, Arbitorium, Arcane University, Arena, Palace, Plaza, Elven Gardens. He might be in the, the Palace District or the Palace area. I guess we'll find out. I don't think I have any missions that are Greetings, like investigate uh all visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down, especially if council is in session. Excuse me. Um okay. Grey Fox. He's just a thief. He's supposed to be the head of the Thieves Guild. Oh, what a joke. Can you imagine a bunch of thieves trying to form a guild? Oh, they have. The nobility hate him, but the peasants and the beggars love him. Especially on the waterfront. Maybe I need to find out more about him. Um, where are the guilds? There are no guilds. Okay, yes, great. So maybe. Farewell, citizen. Maybe if I go to the waterfront. I tried talking to people. Maybe I didn't talk to enough of them to find out about the gray fox because I like to do that. Hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, come back. Make it quick. Imperial City. Hard to find an. No. I guess. Stop talking. Uh, I guess these people aren't gonna really help me with the gray fox for now, are they? Maybe not until I do some more to. I'm so hungry. Gray fox. He's a fairy tale. The Imperial Watch pretends there is a thief king named the Gray Fox who controls all the thieves in Cyrodiil. Of course, it's all just made up to give them an excuse to keep us down. it's not it's not i know the truth gray fox a fairy. Oh. wow have a coin beggar thank you kind sir how gray fox he's a fairy of course i know he's not a fairy tale all right in each attempt to persuade you must admire boast joke and coerce each of these actions raises or lowers the npc's disposition don't take too long because the npc's disposition is steadily falling as you highlight each possible action, the NPC's face shows his reaction to it. He will love, like, dislike, or hate each action. His or her disposition goes up if you select a loved or liked action and goes down if you select a disliked or hated action. The potential gain or loss for each action is based on your speech craft and how full the wedge is. Try to select fuller wedges when they are aligned with actions the NPC likes. Try to select less full wedges when they are aligned with actions he doesn't like. This is hard and I haven't done this in a while, so I'm actually going to wait a second and I'm going to save because I don't want to really mess this up. It's been a long time since I've done this. I Blessings of Miss Dara. Miss Dara. Children will okay, let's do this really quick. We'll see. He's got 46, so we'll press start. Well, look, he hates, he like. he loves that, doesn't like that. Okay, so that's a good one for <sighs> You're that. Pathetic. Uh, it's a good one for that. Don't we get the massive no one. More. That's pretty uh, good. We only got to 51, though. That wasn't very good. Okay, let's try this again. Hates this. Blah blah blah. Like that. Whatever you want. Oh crap. Not bad. Was that supposed to be a compliment? No, sorry, sir. I messed up there. I did. I don't. Don't. Please. I'm sorry. Sure. <laughs> don't. Please. You're pathetic. I'm sorry. You're a big. F Was that? Bam and I bam. Yeah. I get it. Brad. Let's give him nine. How nice. All right, let's see. see. We've got a 74 disposition. Now let's try talking to him. Are you looking for him? That, see, that worked. 
Um, yes, I want to work with him. I think I trust you enough to tell you this secret. Yeah. To learn more about the Grey Fox, go to the Garden of Daraloth at midnight. Look in the waterfront district of the Imperial City. I can say no more. All right, guys. This next episode is us going to be starting the Thieves Guild quest line. Well, I'm not going to go through all of it by any means right now because I have crappy sneak. Like, really crappy sneak. Anyone can see me anywhere, basically. I want to start it so we can have Thieves Guild. We can have at least one fence to go to to sell our stolen goods to. And I also wanted to have it because it's nice to have them um, as a place to go. As well as Frost Kai Expire. To gain some more money from doing their missions. I can do the story quest, but I don't want to do it all right in the beginning. Because you are pretty weak. And some of the story quest isn't super easy. Especially in Oblivion, it can get kind of rough. So I do want to try to do the best I can to give us more time to level up more. And be able to be more strong and not have to die a lot. Because I really hate when I go on missions and I die a lot. Because I'm low level. So next episode, we are going to head to the Thieves Guild. See if we can find the Great Fox. And join up. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button for new videos every single day. And don't forget to give that like button some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's continue to create the greatest gaming community in the world.